Mr. Turbo 458 here. Today we're going to be putting a turbo back together. This is a TDO4 HLA. It is a twin scroll Mitsubishi turbo with the 19T turbo or compressor wheel. So I sent this out to Midwest Turbo Connection and they balanced it as an assembly as far as just the turbo shaft with the wheels. So they marked it with these two sharpie marks. So I'm assuming those have to be lined up accordingly once it's in the turbo and then the turbo nut will then be torqued down to the proper spec which having trouble finding out what spec it is but I've heard 30 newton meters all kinds of different um, torque specs so I'm just going to kind of wing it and then put a little dabble of Loctite on the threads to help hold it in place should be pretty simple um, I've got it, the cartridge set up in my milling machine and I'm going to use a scribe put in the drill chuck to help me align the marks. I'll just line it up with this and then hold that and then slide the compressor part on. So, sorry for the camera if it's a little grainy. It's an older camera, um, but I have a tripod for this one. so makes it a little easier to film while I'm doing work so we're gonna move over here to the actual cartridge get it set up here there's no pause button on this camera either so bear with me Alrighty. so there's the I've got the setup in my little mini mill um, here's the cartridge housing it's in a screwless vise I've got it on some uh, spacers here to space it up on the flat surface of the oil return. Um, one thing, if you're putting a turbo back together, do not forget this little shield back here before you put the um, turbo shaft in. Now my bearings are already in there and I've got this plate in there, the little brass plate in here. So that's already together. It's got new everything in it, new bearings and everything from when it was rebuilt. Now I've lined up my y-axis so that the scribe is on center of the shaft bore. So what we're going to do next, we've got a little bit of oil here. Just going to put a little bit of that on the turbo shaft. So we're just going to, especially this piston ring back here, we're just going to oil that up a little bit and get it nice and oiled up. Alright. So now we've got this oiled up. The little piston ring here is on. We've got our heat shield on. So we're going to slide this in. And then we're going to line up our mark here. piston ring needs to snap in. Let's see if we can get it to snap in here. There we go. So now that piston ring is compressed. Now, I'll lower the z-axis a little bit. Now what we're going to do here is the scribe is lined up with my mark. perfectly there. Raise this up and we're just going to move the x-axis. Over to here. Now, I'm not sure of all the technical terms of all these parts, but I feel that's not really necessary sometimes. Um, I'm basically just putting this thing back together so I don't claim to be a master rebuilder or anything like that but I had to take this apart to send it in so this is our next part it's got this little shield on it and there's a little piston ring that goes to seal this here and this is probably the front plate or I don't know what you call it so then this has to line up with this little hole here 
I just move my turbo shaft, of course. That's right. So this will go on, and then this gets pushed in. Let's see if I can get it past that O-ring. Right there. That should be decent enough there. So, let's see here. So now, we've got the snap ring that goes on. Let's see if I can do this with the camera in the way here. We've got our snap ring pliers. Yeah. It's kind of hard working around a camera tripod. Snap that in. So now that's together. Now the next part to go on is going to be our compressor wheel, which is right there. And this should just go on here. Alright. So, just by eyeballing it. I believe the mark goes even with that. Of course, I don't have a Sharpie handy. Anyway, it lines up with this vein right here. We just have to remember that. We're going to lower our Z. Move the X over a little bit. lined up. Now we're going to move the X over and check our turbine side. We're a little off. So, just move this over. So, that's set. Move the X back over. I want the screwdriver. This is a great mill. I'll have to do a review on it. It's a little weak sometimes, but it gets the job done for sure. Now, if you're putting this together, a turbo like this together, one thing you need to know is these threads are left hand threads, meaning it's reverse of normal, so it's not righty tidy, lefty loosey, it's lefty tidy. Righty Lucy. It's kind of hard to get used to that uh, that bit of it, but that's one thing you have to remember, especially if you're trying to get that uh, if you're trying to get that nut off of there. Make sure you're turning it the right way. Just gonna wipe the oil off these threads here. Okay. We're just going to put a little drop of Loctite. You need, a lot of people use overuse Loctite. Um, really all you need is a little tiny bit, just like a little drop. So, so a little trick I like to do is take this, like a drift punch, put a little drop on that. Just like that. Kind of work it onto the threads a little bit. It doesn't take much. You just you don't want this stuff all over the place either. So okay, let's do that. Now 
Now, we're going to thread the nut on. I'm just going to kind of snug it. I'm actually really happy with Midwest Turbo. They actually packaged it very well. Uh, it was pretty fast. They had it back within a week. So if you're looking for a turbo rebuild, that's probably the place you want to go. Alrighty. That looks like it's spot on and I got it fairly tight. And we're lined up, you can't really see it here, but there's a sharpie mark right here. Um, just right there on the nose. It's lined up with that. And that lines up with this vein right here. Right there. And that's right on. Check our turbine side again. This way I know that the mill and everything is lined up uh, perfectly 90 degrees to the axis, the x-axis here. So we've got the z-axis coming down and everything's you know locked in. And I'd say that's probably quite quite decent there. Um, the only question is, is this tight enough? Which I guess we don't really know. Um, I could put a little torque wrench on it and check it, but that's basically the process that I've determined was the best for doing this. Um, you could probably put this on a flat surface and use a square use an accurate square like this and then set it here and then make a mark on the compressor housing with a sharpie and then make your mark there and there um, on the front and back and then that will allow you to eyeball the sharpie marks um, it's not the most accurate way but that's how I would have done it if I didn't do it this way so I think that's probably good enough. Um, like I say, I'm not a professional turbo rebuilder, but it seems like this is uh, good enough. And that this nut's actually torqued pretty tight. I don't know. It's probably not very tight. Normally it's probably like, you know, 20 foot-pounds or less, I'd say. But you don't want to twist the turbo shaft or anything like that. So that's how I did it there. Um, 